Welcome back, I'm Jay. We got Steve right here today. We're going over your photos that you've sent. Try your best to take awesome pictures and you can email them to pics at greengridiron.com or just tag us on your favorite source of social media. We might get to you. Yes, and Steve here is a professional photographer and he's gonna give tips and tricks on the things that he likes in the photos that we go over today that are just awesome. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go over the, piece, piece, the pieces and the parts of the helmets and all of those things, the design of the helmets. All that. Yeah, so yeah. let's jump right into this one, Steve. What do we got, like a dozen? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we got 11 or 12. Uh, first up is Felix. Felix, you know, I'm not a fan of this helmet. Oh, I'm kidding. I love this guy, right? Ger so Germany the, in the house. The, the field looks great, too. I actually really like the overall look of this. I like the crow on the side. They're the crows. You know, the decals that you see coming out of Europe specifically are always, the, I mean, they, they just feel different. They do feel different. He's got the uprights perfectly lined up with the stripe. Well nice. done, sir. So just to kind of go over the pieces on this guy, we got a clear Oakley visor, a sports star, T-Rex hurricane chin strap, some unbranded Under Armour uh, visor clips. Um, yeah, this is a Shot XP helmet with a mm, Ropo SW face mask. Yeah, it's cool. It's the way to make a pretty vanilla looking helmet look as good as you can. Yeah, and here's a little thing for you, Steve. What's that? This mask in particular, see how it's got the two vertical bars connecting the top horizontal bars? Yes. That means that this mask is stainless steel underneath that. So that HS4 thing. thing applies? Uh, no, because HS4 is a Riddell thing. This is a shot. Gotcha. Um, but that's how you are able to identify uh, the material. If there's two bars right there, it's stainless steel. So I grade everything on a scale of 1 to 10, and I'm going to go with a, an 8.1. Cool. All right. Off to a good start. Next up is Dustin showing his pretty awesome 49ers collection. Are these mini helmets? Full size. I believe they're full size. From this first picture, they look small, right? What, what is that called? And it's on portrait mode here. It, it looks cool. It's yeah. different. The autographs, he's got um, Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Do, mm. Does it get any better? Well, if you're going to get any autographs, those are the two that you want, yeah. I would say. Uh, it, I, I love that white helmet. Isn't that, that looks, great? That looks really nice. He's, he, I think he's bought us, like, out. he's out of stocked us, and he's waiting for us to uh, restock on the um, Speed Flex version. So it's coming, Dustin. It's yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. It, it is coming. So I think this is an awesome collection, and these, he's, I mean, he's hitting all the different color schemes. He's even including chrome. Uh, so he's got 3D bumpers. He's got... Tinted visors. Um, he's got 3D bumpers on the back. There's the white helmet's actually got a Hawaii flag back there. Who is it, he in Hawaii? Yeah, I, actually, there's, there's the black one's got a Hawaii flag too. What about the other two? Do we have backs on the no. other two? So I'm gonna go Great with collection. a uh, this an average score of all four of them. Yep. Because a couple of ones that I think are better than the others, but I'm gonna go with an 8.5. Wow, that's that's it's high, isn't that's it? Tough. It's really high. That's super tough. Oh, do you think that's low? Yeah. No, I think that's high. I got you. Okay, leave comments below. Do you think that score is high or low? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up is Danny. Well, I love, I love the Star Wars theme here. Well, I, I also should mention he wrote in a long time ago in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. Well, that's even better. And yes. for any of you that don't know, I'm a huge Star Wars geek i guess yeah. uh these helmets are super cool these are throwbacks i wonder if how recently he got these to add to his collection because we all, we've only had some of these throwbacks in for a couple of months at most he's upgraded the if if, and if they are he has upgraded the face masks yeah. so he's got one with the s2bd and then he's got another one with the s3bdu Actually, I love that. is that an S3? That might, nope, that's an S2BDUC. Wow, yeah, that's a cool style because it just, I don't know, it looks old, like it should be on that. Yeah. What, what creativity yeah. happening here with those, <laughs> the, the, uh, the light swords? They are all decked out and they're not light swords. They're oh, okay. not <laughs> light swords. They're not light swords at all. Um, oh, man. I mean, I don't even have a lightsaber. No, I need to maybe I can't, get one. put it on the back wall. I can't believe you don't. Really cool, man. Thank you for going out all yep. out with those photos. And I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to go with another. Uh, I'm going to go with an 8.2. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like and that. And there's Oakley visor in there. They look great. 3D bumpers. Yeah, yeah. It's legit. All right, next up is Philip. Another one coming from Germany. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you know what? No. This is a Berlin... Uh, what is this? Raiders? I, the Rebels. The Rebels? It's Berlin for sure. Yeah? Yeah, I've seen this logo. Yeah. Anyway, super cool looking, very sharp photos, man. Yeah, what's going on in the background? What is that? Is that, I, is that wallpaper? I think it's wallpaper. On a table. I see a little bit of the plant trying to sneak in there. Yeah, I man. This has got to be the wall wallpaper, right? It has to be. This is just so German, clean, white lines, you know, everything is just so... Yep, the reflection in the visor looks great. Yep. Uh, this is, it's a pretty standard speed helmet with a simple decal on the side. Yep. Uh, nothing crazy here. We got an HS4 face mask. We got a, a mirrored Under Armour visor, hard drop chin strap. Yeah. I like the numbers on the back. Right. I like where they've put everything on the back. Same here. This is a good look, and it is. It is the rebels. I'm. I'm. I'm sure it's the Berlin rebels. I. I'm I know. Sure. I know. I know this. Okay. I, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll, sure. I'll take your word for it. Thanks, ma'am. Right. What are you giving Philip? Uh, let's go with the seven point nine. Seven point nine. Okay. Not Another too bad. solid. Um, all solid scores in my book. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up is Craig. He's got some custom things that he's wow. been working on. Where do you even begin? The eyes are having a hard time figuring out which to go to first. With this one, a lot going on. There's so much going on. These, this, this digital camo, dude. Those look like decals. Are you kidding me? You know you're right. Yeah, it's either. Yeah, they are. Curious how you did this. Um, and then this, the 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 ketchup and mustard helmet. Yeah, we got some dripping action. Yeah, that's another one that looks it looks really nice. That can't be. Um, I wouldn't think that would be a hydrographic, but maybe. It looks like it was a blaze helmet. I know. And then the, and then the, the red, red was put on? Yep. So maybe it was taped off like that? And then look at, look at this basket weave. Well, that's got to be Whoa. a hydrographic, but to be honest with you, I don't see the seam. Usually you do one half and then you do the other half, and there's a seam in the middle, so that's why a lot of the hydrographic designs will have a stripe. Yeah. But I don't see it, and that's a mini helmet. Oh, if nothing else, you've got us, you've got our attention. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of <laughs> flummoxed. Ooh, nice. Here. Um, um, yeah. I don't know, man. This is really interesting stuff. Well done. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know where to begin with this. I think my favorite one would be the, what I have now dubbed the ketchup and mustard helmet. Yeah. I think that that's really cool. I'm going to go with a 7.9. Wow. Jay, you're tough today, man. You're tough. You think? These are good scores, I think, right? Uh, sh sure. Okay. Yeah. Some, 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 these are tough, man. But I think these are really cool. He's making you work for it. All right. Next up is Chris. Excellent. I love the fact that this is obviously a Vikings inspired. Yeah. Right? I think that's kind of cool. I like the decals on the back. Um, the, I don't know how, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the decal on the bumper. I like the red clips on this. This is a mini helmet. Um, the visor is interesting because you've got those clips. I mean, look at the size of the screw. Right. On the, Very creative, man. Thank you for sending these in. Good work. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm, you know, I'm scoring this based on what it is. It's a mini helmet with a cool design. Uh, let's go with a 7.5. Okay. Wow. I, that am, was, that am, was, am I getting harder and harder as I go? Yeah. That would have been an 8.9 or a 9 for me. So, okay. It's okay. All right. Next up is Lou. All right, Lou. Look at this monster. What does that say? Autumn Wind Pirates. Pirates. Wow. I like that side decal. It looks like it's like got depth. That is Right? Really, really well done. That is like a very detailed side decal. Yeah, I wonder if he did it himself. I like the award decals too, man. This is one heck of an aggressive well, look. Well, I'll say, I really like the color scheme here. So this is kind of a light gray matte helmet. Yes. All blacked out. So you got two colors, which we know that I like. I'm, I'm going to assume that the white and the decals is just gray. Um, 
Like this is the this is the color scheme we should do with a Raiders helmet. A hundred percent. And I want to say he wrote in that he got all this stuff from us and then he just decaled it himself. Sweet. I like how creative he got with the visor because it's tough sometimes with these TXs. Mm -hmm. And he put the clips down on the side. Like there really is no wrong way to do these. Oh yeah, that definitely works. Um, and actually, you know, that, now that I'm looking at this, is the the official color on this is probably a matte silver. Matte silver. Not matte gray. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, eight point five. All right, all right. I like that. I like it a lot. Next up is Thomas. Man, smart move taking this thing outside. Look at that beautiful paint job. The paint job is great. The decals, this this is white and gray printed on clear vinyl, yeah. which is not my ideal, but for this, you got it. This is the really the only, you could do it with colored vinyl, but this is the only way to get these stripes to like perfectly yeah. line up and be parallel with one another. What really would have been very good with this beautiful paint job is to get rid of that massive quarter turn thing and just put two nice simple face mask. Oh, you're talking about the the, 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 the big black? The, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't like those. We all know that I don't like them. Steve, you don't like them either. Regular, um, regular face mask hardware fits in those same exact holes. I like how the there is clear built into the decal to show the blue underneath the decal between the, yeah. the, the white and the gray. It's really smart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could put these on a black helmet. That's right. Same thing. Let's go with a 7.9. 7.9. All right. Next up is Samika. Now, she wrote in a while ago, and we said we're like, okay, we don't hear from a ton of females, so send in pictures of yourself playing. Mm -hmm. she, deli ah. she delivered. Samika, thank you very much. I'll tell you what. So she played quarterback and defensive lineman. And I, she, so she, okay, so in this photo here, she's number 56. Yep. And then here she's QB. Sweet. I don't know if I'd want to play against her. She what? looks like she knows what she's doing. Where is this? <laughs> Denmark. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, in the in in the in the uh, the EU, I guess. Yeah. Women's full pad kit football is. I just feel like it's way bigger there than it is here. It's. It looks way more put together than something you'd see in the U.S. Yes. She looks good. I mean, she looks fit. I like her hair, too. She's got some purple happening back there. So, all right, ladies. Here, here, here it is. Send us your stuff. We want. Maybe we'll do an all, yeah. all ladies. Can't always be about the dudes. You know. Yeah. Well, I love it. And when you send in photos of your helmets with you know, nice close shots, close-ups on the helmets, let us, let us see some in-action shots. Yeah, like this. Exactly like this. She doesn't need another score unless you want to. Yeah. That's I'm awesome. going to give you that a 10. How's that? Bingo. 10. That's that's how easy it is. Yeah, just like that. All right, next up is Eli taking his helmet for a swim. Wow. I love the, oh, yeah, there we go. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the, uh, is that a diving board? Out on the diving board. That might even be just some sort of a raft. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, yeah, because it looks like it's in the water. Beautifully composed, though, no joke. Like, this took time. He lined up the side. And it's with, so creative. And with this being obviously in the middle of the day, it's not overexposed with a white helmet. That's, it's that's hard you to do. You do just right, right? Yeah. I guess it's probably the phone doing everything for him, isn't it? Probably. Phones are so good. This is a very, very, very white and blue helmet. I mean, he painted I love it. everything. I love white. it. And you got the chrome decals. This is a Zenith um, shadow, shadow, I think it is. I think it's great. Yeah, and this is, says initial season 2020, which means this definitely looks like it's had some play time, but then he cleaned yeah, it up. You a know? Bit. Yeah. It's, it's super clean. It looks it looks I, great. And I like it. We got the white face mask clips. You got the, um, these are painted Under Armour visor clips on there, but they're all white. See that blue, he's got a blue chin strap tucked in mm -hmm. there. Um, blue, man. Blue uh, visor. Great looking helmet. I, I'm going to go with uh, 8.4. There you go. That's, I is like that. Is that better? That's much better. I want to jump in that pool. Okay, yeah. Next up, I'm just going to say it's Townsend because that's how it was marked. And I don't know if that's the guy's name. I doubt it. But really yeah. cool stuff. He's got a Drew Brees. Brees Top Call and it's, Challenge. And it's autographed Signed by Drew Brees, too, which is nice. So this is, we got a couple of different helmets here. Got HD face mask. This I think is that. The SF 
two B D C H D. Yeah, I, I would suspect the Speed Flex has there's something in store for this helmet. Like something's coming, you know. Um, if I had to guess, this isn't just to play in. I, I think he's going to do something with this. Could be. Uh, yeah. I mean, both of these, red, white, and blue. Super yeah. patriotic. Obviously, a musician. Uh, yep. Got a little acoustic in the back. I like that. I like it. Uh, yeah. I uh, mean, for the combination here, because we got July 4th, Independence Day, right? Like, actually, is the day that you're watching this is Independence Day, right? You're right. Yeah, so happy July 4th. Yes. And with that one, Steve, I'm going to go with a 9.0. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's a huge score. But it's because. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's all we got time for, man. So if you're watching this on July 4th, happy July 4th. Get out there. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. All but that. have fun. Get out in the sun. I'm sure it's going to be hot, hot, hot in a lot of places where you're watching this. So try and take, stay cool and hydrated and all that good stuff. If you made it to the end of this video, we really appreciate you and your comments and your love and support. And keep sending in your photos. Yes. Thank you very much. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.